Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Code with Sunny and in this video I am going to talk about the problems of code forces round 720 division 2 and the very first problem is Nastra and nearly good numbers. Okay, so this problem is quite a little bit trickier. Let's try to understand this problem. We have been given two integers A and B and uh, we need to take care for that the integer is called a good if it is going to be divisible by the product A into B. Otherwise the integer is nearly good if it is divisible by a okay so let me just clear it out the definition and the definition is quite is it is like uh, if it is uh, if my integer is called good if it is divisible by a into b like uh, let's call my integer n is good when it is going to be like divisible by product a into b now there is uh, one more alternate definition or you can say otherwise case like otherwise the integer is called nearly good if it is divisible by only a okay so let's write it as n as nearly good if it is divisible by a note that if i have just mentioned the otherwise case so if it is divisible by a but not divisible by by product a into b and the reason behind this while writing uh, this one because actually I have uh, confused while solving this problem like uh, if it is divisible by a there might be some case like the integer should not be divisible by b or not so rather than to make it clear if the integer is called a uh, good only and only when it is going to be like divisible by a into b otherwise the integer is called nearly good if it is only divisible by a and not divisible by the product a into b okay now let us try to understand this uh, what we are going to print this okay so we need to find three different positive integers x y z such that exactly one of them is going to be good okay note that the term exactly one of them and the other two are called nearly good okay now the nearly good concept as i've already said divisible by only a but not divisible uh, but not divisible by product a into b it might be divisible by b or not okay so uh, we need to find three integers such so that this sum holds true x plus y must be equal to z and the integers x y z must be distinct okay if we are going to print yes if there exists some distinct positive integers x y z such that exactly one of them is good and other two are nearly good and this sum holds then we are going to print yes and followed by three integers otherwise print no okay so there can be multiple answers so let us try to figure it out what could be our possible answer note that the term exactly one so if i have been asked to find exactly one of them should be like a good one good in, uh, good integer so i should must focus upon the integer should be divisible by a into b so it can be a into b or any multiple of a into b so let us take the one of the numbers x as a into b okay now i need to find out the y what could be my y and what could be my z such that this z must be equal to x plus y okay now one thing that should be noted that uh, one of the integers should be like uh, okay so one of the integers should be the product a into b so that it should be divisible by a into b okay now other two integers y and let me write it down y and z should be y and z should be like uh, only divisible by divisible by a but not divisible by uh, like product a into b now we can easily form this y and z how we are going to easily form this y and z let us try to understand that suppose i have taken this y equals a okay so if i will take y as a you can easily see y is going to be like uh, divisible by a and you can easily see if y is going to be like divisible by a and uh, y should be like y mod a product b is not going to be uh, is not going to be divisible by this product okay and what about this z you can easily see my z would be like a into b plus a the we should be like product uh, sum of x and y so i have just arrived at conclusion we we are going to easily find out three integers and what are these three integers okay so let me move to this one you can easily see i can find as three integers like if you take x as a into b so one of the integers becomes 
this uh, divisible by a into b i need two more integers which should not be divisible by this product a into b but should be divisible by only a so i will take y as a you can easily see it this is going to be divisible by a but not divisible by a into b okay now i will take z which should be like x plus y but z should be divisible by only a and should not be divisible by this product a into b so i can take z as a into b plus a okay so if so if i will take z as a into b plus a you can easily see it is going to be like if we take uh, modulus with this product a into b so we will have some remainder a so it means that it is not going to be divisible by this product a into b but it is going to be like divisible by only a you can easily see if i will take this value let's say this value has some p if i will just take modulus with this p mod a then you can easily see it is it will always come out to be zero because it is actually a multiple of this a like a into b plus one but you can easily see the i will always print x y z like in this fashion a into b a and a into b plus a but this will give us a wrong answer only when that is our answer will come out to be no only when b is exactly equal to one how this is going to be about let us try to take an example like a equal to six that is i will take a as six and b as one so let us try to find out x you can easily see x will come out to be one and y will come out to be six and z will come out to be like uh, x plus y okay i think yes i am right uh, okay x will come out to be like 6 y will come out to be like 6 and z will come out to be like x plus y it should be like 12 but you can easily see i will my integers like 6 6 and 12 you can easily see these integers are not distinct that is so each of the integers should be pairwise distinct you can easily see i have two integers which are have the same value so this gives an error so my answer will come out to be no whenever b is going to be 1 otherwise print this format of integers okay so let us look over this code the code is going to be like very much simple so i have i'm going to just output for as o of 1 per test case so you can see a i have taken a and b if b is not 1 print yes followed by this a into b which is x then a which is y then a into b plus a otherwise print no this will always give you an ac verdict okay so if you have any doubts do let me know in the comment section of the video and i will ask the viewers to like this video share this video and to subscribe to our youtube channel for latest updates thank you for watching this video